Hey guys, welcome to Drumster One. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the difference between Fortnite and the Darwin Project. Now I know a lot of you guys have heard of Fortnite, but maybe not all of you guys have heard of the Darwin Project. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite games now, and I am really enjoying it. It's okay, I'm just going to get to it. Let's go. So we're going to start off with the similarities. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of similarities when it comes to the differences between the Darwin Project and Fortnite. So some of them are the graphics. So yes, they, the characters, they do look kind of similar. Um, but going off of that, it's still a last man standing game. So in Fortnite, start off with 100 people. Um, you, have, you have to kill everyone or survive until the last, unless you're with the squads. So I'm going too far, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's keep going. So character customization. Uh, Fortnite as well as the Darwin Project has character customization, um, some of which you can buy or um, earn through earning different things. We'll get to that later. So you can also customize equipment. Um, the equipment is a little less customizable in the Darwin Project because you have less equipment, but we'll get to that. So let's start off with the differences. As I said, Fortnite is a hundred player Battle Royale. Um, so it's 100 players. You can use squad tactics, playing with people, or you can go solo. And there are weapons you can pick up all across the map. So you start off with no weapons in Fortnite. Then you have to pick them up along with uh, wood and other stuff like that. So I know you guys know a lot about Fortnite, or at least you guys know something about Fortnite. There's lots of videos over Fortnite. So I'm just going to that's a brief overview. Let's get into the Darwin Project, one of my personal favorite games, especially right now. So, the Darwin Project, pretty similar, but you start off in, so the Darwin Project is set up in a post-apocalyptic cold arena, cold place. Um, I guess there was nuclear war or something like that, I don't know, but they're preparing for the Ice Age and there's this new Hunger Games type uh, game going on where it's both science experiment and uh, entertainment. And these inmates, as they call them, the, there's 10 inmates in the game and they're forced to try to be the last one standing wins. Now, they don't actually say what happens to the winner. Uh, they kind of make fun with like, if you manage to win without killing anyone, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. So let's get into it. So as I said, there's 10 people in the round. You guys start off in different areas of the map and the map can get close, parts of the map can go, get closed off. So you start off with 10 people. You have to survive in the cold. So that includes building fires with wood. Um, sorry, I got ahead of myself. So you only have an ax and a bow and arrow. You start off with two arrows but you can use wood to gather more. So there's two different things in the Darwin Project. There's wood and there's leather. Wood you can collect from only certain trees, um, which that shows you which trees you can use. Um, and leather, there's random leather chairs throughout the arena which you can use. Um, but be careful because if you cut down a tree or uh, cut up a chair, someone else can, can find that chair and actually use that to track you for about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, they can see where you are on the map for that long and um, in person it shows a little glowing you pretty much, which they can then use to um, track. So, so I'm in the cold, you've got 10 people, um, you have an ax and you have bows and arrows. So you have about 600 health, but you can actually get armor through, um, I believe it's two wood and three ar or leather, sorry about that, two wood and three armor gets you, le gets you armor, which you can uh, craft as many times as you want, but only one at a time. So once you lose your armor, then you can gain it again using um, your wood and leather. So there's a bunch of other things you can um, create in this game. There's um, this new concept called electronics, which um, can drop into any one of the little areas of the map and um, can cause people to have to fight towards them. 
Uh, there's a lot of little specifics when it comes to fighting with electronics, but I'll get into that. So, one of the biggest differences is this new thing called the game director. The game director is this new um, kind of spectator, but this uh, the game director, he can choose to do different things. So, he can close um, zones. So, if you're in the zone, he can decide to close that zone and you have about 60 seconds to get out of there or else it's kind of like the storm in Fortnite where it starts to hurt you until you get out unless you die in there of course um so he can make things interesting he can talk to you he can talk to everyone um what else he can he can throw a nuke into his own so nukes are special they will drop in about 30 seconds instead of like the 60 for the zone closures. Um, but right after a nuke um, lands and everything's everyone's pretty much wiped out from that area if they're there, anyone can come back in. There's no, I guess, radiation for some reason, but you can go back in and use any um, leather or wood that you can find in there right after. So that's interesting. They can also create gravity storms in a small area, which allows people to be able to jump extremely high, stay in the air for a while, kind of float around. It's pretty cool, especially when there's one or two people left, or sorry, two or three people left. If there's only one, then I guess they win. Um, yeah, they can also give people uh, wood in the beginning. They can also um, warm help warm people up. And what's interesting about that is a lot of live streamers who use the... Um, the game director, they will actually uh, have people betting on who's going to win, and they can the people who are spectating can vote for different people to get different things or for them to try to kill someone. It's really interesting, and it's a whole new concept. I mean, this is crazy new. No one has ever done anything like this before, and it creates a very interesting game. I love it. So there are three different types of characters in the game. So not including male or female, all your character customization. Once you get into the um, pre-arena, you can decide if you want to be a hunter, a goon, or a shadow. So each, each one has kind of pre-made um, customizations uh, with the types of arrows they use, the types of electronics that they have available, etc. But you can also have a custom one that you can use every time. So um, a lot of people, I like to use the shadow because he automatically has some things I like, but you can always change all, all of your options. You can be a goon and change everything to be as if you were a shadow. So there's no straight up differences. Um, it's just a pre-created um, kind of set of things that you have, especially if you're new, it's very helpful. Um, so yeah, there are different types of arrows. There are arrows where if you hit someone, you can track them for a couple seconds. There are arrows where you hit them and you get unlimited stamina. That's another thing. So in the Darwin project, there's stamina, um, which you can only use, you can, so you can only run for a short period of time. It's about 10, eight seconds. Um, but after that, you have to kind of slow jog for a couple of seconds in order for it to um, go back up. Um, so it also it, it makes things interesting when there's two people running after each other or fighting and having to evade um, and stuff like that. So there's also fire arrows, which they hurt people more, but at the same time, they warm them up. So you want to be careful on that, especially if you can uh, tell that they're cold. Um, you also need to watch that a lot. A lot of people will forget that they're getting cold. So don't be one of those people. Don't be one of those people I'm telling you right now. Advice, don't get too cold, especially if you know someone's around you. So I know I told a whole bunch of stuff about this new Darwin Project thing and the differences between the Darwin Project and Fortnite. But I really, really hope that you guys um, try out the Darwin Project, especially if you have an Xbox or a PC. Um, 
check it out. If you want to watch some videos, I will, I have past videos uploaded that you can watch. Um, I will also be making future videos to show you guys. And I hope you like it because it's one of my favorite new games and it's only going to get better guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos. Um, please subscribe even if you don't. Just kidding. But yeah, I really hope you guys like this. Um, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to ask them. And if you want to watch me on Mixer, the link is down below. You can come watch me live. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.